Welcome to my tutorial. Today's video will focus on using the coding formula in finding a few measures of dispersion like the variance and standard deviation. The following table shows the distribution of masses of 100 blood donors. Using the assumed mean of 67 kg, calculate the mean, variance and the standard deviation of the distribution. Please guys, if you are new in this channel, Kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Thank you. Now let's rearrange this table in vertical order. We succeeded in rearranging the table in a vertical order. We could see the mass and the frequency. So we're expected to fill up the remaining spaces here. So this is the formula for calculating the mean of this distribution. We have A. A simply means assumed mean. Remember, we are given the assumed mean as 67, followed by C. C simply means class interval. And this could be gotten by either subtracting 60 from 63, or subtracting 62 from 65, or subtracting 63 from 66, or subtracting 65 from 68, and so on and so forth. At the end of the day, we'll find out that they have equal class interval because 63 minus 60 gives 3 or uh, 65 minus 62 also gives us 3. The coding formula is often used for frequency distributions of equal class intervals. Next we have summation FU. Of course here we could see our FU column. This simply entails that we are expected to add up all the values of FU we derive and then divide by summation F meaning we are expected to add up all the frequency values. Let's begin to fill all the spaces. For the first midpoint or class mark, 60 plus 62 gives 122. Then 122 divided by 2. For the second midpoint, 63 plus 65 divided by 2. 66 plus 68 divided by 2. Dex plus dex divided by 2. Lastly, 72 plus 75 divided by 2. Now let's proceed to the D column. That is X minus A. Of course, we have our S column, 61 minus A. Remember, A value is 67. Gives minus 6. Next is 64 minus A. Our A being 67. 67 minus 67. 70 minus 67. Lastly, 73 minus 67, 6. Proceed to the U column. U simply tells X minus A being the column we've just calculated, divide by C. Remember C, the class interval, and the value is 3. First, X minus A here is minus 6. So minus 6 divided by C. Of course, we did say C value is 3, gives minus 2. Next is minus 3 divided by 3. 0 divided by 3. Next is 3 divided by 3. Lastly, 6 divided by 3. We have 2 here. Now let's proceed to u square column. u square simply means the square of each of the u values. Minus 2 square. Minus 2 square simply means Minus 2 times minus 2, which gives 4. Next is minus 1 square, 0 square, 1 square. Lastly, 2 square, we have 4. Now, let's proceed to the FU column. FU simply entails frequency times the U. First FU will be 5 times minus 2. Next is 18 times minus 1. Next is 42 times 0. 27 times 1, lastly 8 times 2, 16 here. The last column is the FU square column. FU square simply entails the product of F and U square. 5 times 4, next is 18 times 1, 42 times 0, 27 times 1, lastly 8 times 4. Now, let's sum all this up. 20 plus 18 plus this plus this plus this gives this. Let's also sum this up. Minus 10 plus dex plus dex plus dex plus this gives 15. 
Let's also proceed to summing up the frequency. 5 plus this plus this plus this plus this gives 100. Now let's calculate the mean. Here we say um, A value is 67 plus a C value times summation F U divided by summation F. 67 plus 3 times 15 divided by 100 gives 0 0.15. So 67 plus 3 times 0 0.15. 67 plus 0 0.45. So the mean of the distribution is 67.45. Now let's proceed to calculating the variance of this data. Variance is represented with S square and the formula is C square. Remember our C value is 3 and the square of it. Summation F U square is 97 divided by summation F value which is 100 minus summation F U divided by summation F all square. 3 square gives 9. 97 divided by 100 gives this value minus 15 divided by 100 all square. So we have 9 0 0.97 minus 0 0.15 square. We have 9 0 0.97 minus this value gives this 9 times 0 0.9475 gives 8.5275. So we record it here. Now let's calculate standard deviation. Standard deviation is represented with x and is the square root of variance. And here we go now. So the square root of the variance B8.5275 gives 2.920. So we succeeded in using the coding formula, or we call it conventional approach or formula, in calculating the mean, variance, and standard deviation. Please stay tuned for the next video where we will demonstrate how to use the machine formula or the machine approach in calculating the variance and standard deviation. If this video is really helpful, please do well to like, leave an amazing comment, share this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.